It's finally time to show the true experience of this game. Don't walk into check. <laughs> That's a great start. All the pain, all the joy, all the suffering is about to become real. Let's see what sort of fun strategy I can make. What sort of crazy strategy and synergy and combo can I come up with? It's rank nine, which means the Rook now has six HP instead of five. Which does mean I can't one-shot the Rook with this current one. And I've almost walked into checkmate. Impressive. Great start. I'm sure we'll only get better from here. At least I can actually finish it off and now go for the king. It's just my ammo is so low, I feel like I have to pick off these pawns now. Because I don't want them to promote and make me really sad. Okay, now I'm good. It's easy win from here. One fight down, 11 more to go in hopes that I can win against the boss. And considering that both these are blade cards, I'll take the one that gives me three blade. I do hate the downside of karma though. But if my shot power is worse and either way, I guess that means it's time to just focus on the blade, whatever that entails. I don't get an extra turn though, but I would like it. This is a good time to use the blade. And so is this. Stay on light squares, let this come to me. It's interesting that the blade didn't show up. It would have been nice to at least take a stab at it. No pun intended. And now it's just focus on the king. How bad can it be? The majority of my actions should still be blading, except when it's just me and the king. All right, if he approaches me, it's over. No need. Another one down. Both the cards that benefit me give uh, extra ammo. I'm going to take this one because... Maybe this time I'll get the red book funny combo thing. I mean, I am on a lucky streak, so maybe I'll just luck into the secret ending. That'd be pretty cool. Get out. Ah, that's check. But this isn't. Oh, yeah. Knocking back pawns is really nice, actually. Oh, uh, discovered check from the bishop. And actually, this bishop's gonna, yeah, cause a lot of issues. I can actually knight soul here without having to worry about check. That'll do. I still got a blade a bunch. The bishops being able to move orthogonally is unbelievably powerful, which is why I don't usually like taking this card. I mean, among other reasons. But I know it's gonna be an uphill battle. And I guess I keep finding myself on light squares. I mean, I'm at the point where I'm just letting whatever happens happens as far as position goes. Sometimes I'm stuck to getting dealt more damage to me. Sorry, that's not what I meant. Stuck to dealing less damage or stuck to having a wider spread. Sometimes you just gotta let it happen. Oh, Bushido, double blade, excellent. All right, back-to-back -back blade builds. It's crazy. I've actually never gotten two blade cards in a game, and then I get it in back-to-back -back games. It is a shame, though, with the red book, I don't get the ability to move orthogonally like the bishop. I feel like that's wasted potential, but it's gonna be hard now. I mean, queens here, I actually still don't one-shot rooks. I don't actually know what to do with my bullets. Come to... Oh, let's check. Come to me, bishop. I don't shoot the pawn as an instant loss. Just keep waiting for them to come close. Oh, I have three power normally. I mean, this... I have to go full blade now. It's just the better play. All right, so I can slash a bishop. Move. Slash a bishop. Hot shot the queen. Reload for the heck of it. If I go here, I can only be checked by two things at once. Wish I'd... Well, I'm glad I didn't waste the bishop soul. You never know what could happen. It is full knight time. Oh, I can't slash the rook. I guess I can get rid of this pawn, then move. Here, I'll shoot the rook so at least I can slash in the future. Yeah, come to me. Thank you. Oh, unless I knock the king back, that's not worth taking a shot at. All right, well, now I can slash the king, so I'll invite him to come towards me. There we go. Yo, taunting hop with blade. Except there's so many bishops now with the red book. It might be more powerful to have strafe anyway. I'm struggling to think of too many scenarios where I would want to hop over a piece doing one damage, as opposed to when I could just blade them. Strafe mode, though, gives me some interesting flexibility. And I mean, there is a thing about making sure the white pieces don't get too, too strong. Obviously, you don't want to be super cautious on that, but you can't just go and be a fucking moron. Where can I walk? I can go here. Uh, looks like I'm just constantly bishop sold. Okay, wait, wait. So right click the knight and move. It's a strafe mode scenario. How do you like that? I could actually strafe mode here too. Because that lets me hit the queen. And let's see what even happens. Oh, I see you. Nice. Still see you. Well, that's a game awaiting. It's practically over now. The air is dead. Oh, I meant to slash you. It'd be funny if I could royal loafers with a blade attack somehow. That'd be pretty cool. Knock him back, maybe? Oh, yeah. Perfect. Knock him back again, huh? Interesting. 
Well, he's gone. High focus is interesting because at least it helps me at a longer range. I think it's a much better card from Taunting Hop. I also don't hate removing a bishop, even though there's more secret air candidates. Yeah, healthy amount of bishops is much better in my opinion. Yeah, I mean, look at this. Narrow Fire Arc. Now granted, I mean, I also want to have pieces next to me. It's just, I want to be safe in both scenarios. I can deal good damage when pieces are far away. I can deal good damage when pieces are next to me. I just got to make sure I don't accidentally find myself in a line of sight. That should be fine. And now I'm up close. I mean, I don't have much ammo. Should make the most of it. Oh, I see you. Good one. I'm glad that was easy. Pick off a pawn. Honestly, pick off another pawn. I could get rid of it. And now I got to run. All right, it's basically over. There's nothing to worry about. I actually get to two shot the king. One shot and then one blade. Okay, I definitely don't want to add five pawns and give them more HP. Blunderbuss is actually pretty good. I could one shot a rook now. And removing another bishop is great. Down with the bishops. And I see it. I'm basically neutering the effects of the red book, which I love to see. Let's see if I can get rid of that pawn. I mean, it's kind of hard given the arc. No discover checks. Nice. Well, now I don't know how to play. I guess just slash everything I can and go for the king. Sick. Okay, don't go that close to the king. Maybe I can finally get a queen soul. What if I like right click on the queen and then bishop soul? Does this work? That does work. It's not good, but it functions. Come on. Okay, there we go. Queen soul, finally. I feel like that took long enough. All right, approach me, king. You coward. You weak little man. You tiny baby boy. All right, come on. Come on. <laughs> Back him into a corner. Oh, he's still alive. No. I'll put you out of your misery. I don't want to make my blade worse. I don't care for charging an additional shell in my shotgun either. Oh, but I don't want to give pawns pikemen either. You know what? Let's just try this. Just get a huge fire arc. Uh, making pawns kind of powerful. But at least they can't attack diagonally. I don't know if this was a mistake though. Pikeman has been known to screw me. So maybe I could have thought more heavily about it. Oh, and if I step out of Black Square, 127 arc. I think then it just makes sense to permanently stay on light squares. Shoot pawns that aren't blocking the rook. That's okay, I guess. Yeah, actually, this is kind of scary. I can't get close to the pawns like I used to, but I can just absolutely unload into the crowd. So there's benefits both ways. No discover check. It's a lot of knights. Actually, I guess I can just go here. I could have gone here, actually, because I forgot pawns can't attack diagonally. That's not my problem, because I can still get this and then strafe away from this pawn. Move it. So I can go diagonal. Get that queen for sure. Too bad I don't have a turn to hit that rook. I might just strafe back. I still haven't gotten the secret air yet, but I can't cross the line of the rook. Uh, how about this? Rook is still alive. There we go. Not anymore. I think I should get rid of these pawns. There's an air in here. One of you or him. Maybe I just got him by accident? Eh, yeah, possibly. That's known to happen. Anyways, it's over. This is going really well. Okay, I can't make pawns any stronger than they are. I should like King's Mistress. Nerfing the queen, even though it adds a different one. And if I have a soul card move, I can move again. I think that card is really powerful. I mean, all these things that give you an extra turn, really good. So now I can be more liberal with it if I choose. Right now, I'll just practice aiming into the crowd. I was hoping I could get rid of this knight. I think that's okay since I can still go here fine. There are no discover checks. <laughs> that is incredible damage. Question, does this give me a... It does. I can go here safely. There's a discover check, but if I kill the king, which actually is a problem, but that's not gonna happen. Uh, I was about to make a joke saying that I would win the game if I did that, but that's not true because of secret air. Funny how that works. All right, get rid of both of these and that. Now I can go for the king and some stuff around it. They keep trying to get close. Why do such a thing? Okay, I still haven't gotten the secret air, so I will try. I am in check, so I have to use my soul card here. I'm gonna hope that uh, this doesn't result in checkmate, but it is kind of forced. I think I'll actually take a reload right now. Okay, I need to, uh, I need to eliminate this queen somehow. I forgot it can't come up right in my face. That actually works against me here. Take a move here. Oh, I see him. That's good. Let him come to me. Maybe try to pick him off. Oh, that's good. That's a good shot. Because now I have so much more movement and a queen soul. I think I got him anyway. So let's just go finish my job. Take a shot into the king now. Actually, I should have moved up. I forgot I halfway injured him. He's still alive. The goon. No. <laughs> Whatever. These promotions don't concern me much. 
It concerned me a little bit, but not anymore. Dude, I could get a ton of firepower with Welcome Gift for one shot only. I do admit this is effectively plus one ammo, and I don't think I actually care about Kite Shield because of my huge spread. The way I shoot, there's so much spread that a lot of time, the first shot that hits a knight is gonna only deal one or two damage to it anyway. So it blocks one or two damage to begin with. Big whoop. I think I can get over that. Still not, let's not get put in check from the knight. Okay, it absorbed six damage, but that feels like an outlier. That feels like a much more normal shot. Only three hitting it. And I'm not gonna judge its power level by the outliers. The extra pawn being added is sometimes scary. I guess it means I can't blade knights. Oh, I couldn't even clip any of them? What are these shots? Yeah, what happens if I try to blade? Oh, yeah, okay, so it takes two turns to blade down a knight. How interesting. So here's what I'm gonna do then. I'm gonna start with the blade, and then I'm going to strafe like that. And I've done a damage to this knight. Good. I am in check, but I figure I should get that. No, I'm not actually. Queen can't move that far. So because of that, I'll pick off some pawns. Oh, I see you. It can be a little annoying to get to, especially since I have no ammo. I think I can go here safely. Yeah, slash a pawn whenever I can. This is still safe. All right, good. Got rid of the air. I can move here safely. Slash everything possible. That's a check. I guess I could strafe here. There we go. Your days are numbered, king. You have put up a valiant effort, truly, but you will soon be no match. However, I do need to strafe away. Wait, wait, I can one-shot this. Yeah, I don't want to risk missing those. I'm just going to do this. Because, yeah, sometimes that dealt six. I could have dealt up to seven. Something just felt wrong, you know? Anyways, this is looking good now. Come to me, king. Or don't. You're lost either way. Oh, and I can get plus three ammo. That's really good. And analysis paralysis is not that big a downside. The enemy pieces get six free turns. But watch what they do during it. Mm, actually, a little bit more than I expected, to be fair. I'm gonna strafe here and hope not too much goes into the night. All right, I hit two shields. That's good. Feels though I don't have very many moves. So I think I'm gonna have to strafe again. I don't want to kill this pawn. I feel like it's... Oh, it doesn't matter. Queen can't check me. I think this is the play. And now I can start slashing. And I gotta make sure. Queen can only move three squares. So either of these are fine. I'll go here actually. Just get the free kill. And then strafe my way into something. That's check. Here. I can strafe and move. The queen still doesn't put me in check if this somehow dies. It, it won't. That's not possible. I get an extra turn so I can kill this knight. Now I gotta start being careful. There are too many pawns alive. Way too many children. I found the heir. I'm gonna hope and pray the queen comes next to me. Good. Good, good, good. What's the bishop doing protecting the heir? He knows. That was a satisfying blast. Love to do more of those. There we go. Another satisfying blast. All right, both of these die easily. Uh, there's a lot of pawns still alive. Yeah, but none of them become kings, so I don't care. <laughs> That's all I care about. Boss battle time. Unfortunately, I couldn't find the Theocracy card again, so we're gonna see no secret boss battle. But, you know, this will still be a tough one, just because I do feel like I have to employ the kill everything strategy now, because I don't think I'm gonna be able to rush down the death of the big king. I actually really like my current position. I'll let it sit. Keep firing into the crowds. All right, I think I have to fall back to here. All right, both pawns are gonna march forward, so I have to fall back preemptively. I'm gonna go here. Oh, the queen retreated. That's good for me. Fire a little, keep it up. I think it's still smart for me to save the queen's soul, by the way. Mostly because, I mean, my moves are powerful without needing to get all these extra turns. Just some. Okay, I'll slash the knight. How am I gonna get to these pawns here? I don't know. They may have to end up promoting. This is not an easy fight here. Yeah, I'm gonna have to, to try some BS. Well, I mean, I could start using the queen soul to attack the queen sort of deal. As in. Um, I gotta be careful. Something I should have looked into before starting this fight is whether I can chain extra turns with queen souls and with Bushido. Because my gut says no, based off of nothing except this game wanting to fuck with me. I think no matter what, I can always just do this. Slash the queen. Will it let me slash? No, it won't let me slash here. But the point was to move here. I, I don't want to risk chaining extra turns just in case it fails. I might actually hit the rook here. And then in... Oh, there's a queen check. Okay, I can move right here then. This is good. This is good. I can hit the knight for free and strafe into the rook. Oh, that's a little annoying. I think it's actually fair to go after this queen. Now I'll get a little closer to the pawns before blasting them, because I still haven't gotten the secret air. This rook is still alive. I can't get any closer right now. Wait, is the is the king blocking the rook? Yeah, he's blocking the rook's line of sight. Never mind. Okay, I feel like I 
maybe got the secret air? I mean, yeah, I would be seeing him if this were the secret air, so I guess I just shoot. Okay, bishops don't scare me. A lack of ammo does, though. Slash it, get out of the way. I can slash this, strafe my way over with the queen soul. I get an extra turn, right? Yeah, but I don't know if I get an extra blade. I'm not gonna risk this. I don't know if I get an extra blade. Let's just, it's down to one HP. Let's just finish this. With the blade! <laughs> Let's go. Well, back three back. These have been some good runs. To be fair, blade is OP when you get it. Hope you guys aren't tired of the blade builds because I'm loving them. Let's run it back. See y'all in the next one.